Hello and welcome to our game 613 and today I want to talk to you about this lady on screen right now which is the ghost of Jolene Cranley Evans. Now if you don't know who that is, that is actually the wife of the film actor stuntman politician called Jock Cranley or as his full name is John Jock Cranley. So basically she was murdered on the top of Mount Gordo and now she haunts it forevermore. Now we all knew this since the beginning of the game, since the game first launched. We found this a few weeks into actually having the game, so that's pretty cool. And there was also a news report on the actual PlayStation, Xbox versions, and I've seen it on the PC and the newer versions as well, which is this one here. Now this comes from the Sonora Beach, sorry, Sonora Beach. Now this comes from the Sonora Beacon which is a newspaper based in the Sonora Desert area of the actual GTA 5 map. You can't actually obviously buy this, but it is quite cool to feature in game. And I want to talk to you about this because if you look at the date at the top of the paper, it's March 15th, 1978. Now, this is the date the newspaper was published in game, or in, obviously in the Sonora area. And that means that the murder happened the day before and I find it pretty cool. Now if you want to read through this, feel free to. But basically what it says is that Jock was aged 26 at the time and Jolene was 22 and they were walking through the Gordo area where there's time to argue when they approached the actual area where the lighthouse is which is actually just down to the right of where I'm looking right now on the map um, on the bit before this and then basically they argued and he ended up accidentally pushing her accidentally now we don't really believe him on this and if i actually cut back to the actual gameplay i will actually show you that if you go all the way up to where the ghost is she will suddenly vanish like so and you'll find this on the ground now if you look on this it actually says jock and you can't see it too well but I actually found this in the files as well. And if I show you that, you'll find out that it's actually written in handprints. So it's actually written with the blood of her hands scraped across the ground to write his name so he faces a justice. Now, it also does feature in the news report, which is this one here, that Jock never actually got anything against him on it. The people actually believed his side of the story and it turned out not to be as fair as it could have been now if we actually take the camera out sometimes you can actually glitch it and hopefully it'll work for here so here we go yeah if you can actually glitch it and you get the real close-up version of jolene and basically this is a pretty interesting easter egg and the most interesting part of it is obviously if you look back at the paper it is 1978 that this happened on March 15th. Today's date is now March 15th, the 2018. So that means this is a 40 year old murder now. It's the 40th anniversary of the murder. Yesterday was when the murder actually happened. So that makes it 40 years on March 14th, 1987 to 2018. And another little cool Easter egg about the well, not Easter egg really, but another cool thing about the match for Team was it was my birthday! And I was 27 years old. Yay! So, that's not very fun for me. However, um, this Easter egg is pretty cool. Now, another thing you might not have known is obviously that is written in hand prints, which is pretty cool. But if you go down to the bottom of the actual place, to where my car is located actually, We'll spawn ourselves over there, considering we're on director mode. You'll actually hear screams down here, and this is quite well known. But you'll also see the ghost. Now if we zoom in with the sniper, you'll notice it's got like a white box around it. And the head tilts towards the left. Now if you actually look on the actual original one, it does do the other thing, so that's kind of cool. But it is actually a separate ghost, this one because the actual normal ghost would actually be a bit more towards this way but this one is actually a separate ghost but it is the ghost of the same ghost so if you can get what I'm trying to say is there's two ghosts on the mountain but they are both based around the same one 
So some people are actually saying it like it's two totally different ghosts, but it's not. It's actually the same ghost, but there's two different versions of it. So that's pretty cool. And last but not least, I don't really know. There's not much really else to say. Uh, do we think Chuck Cranley should be done for his murder? Do we not? Do we think he should get away with it, considering it's been 40 years now? Personally, I'd like to see something happen in a future GTA, where you find out he's actually been put in prison for it or something, because they, because they found some new evidence that was hidden out at sea, or maybe found up on the mountain. And it'd be pretty cool to have some kind of Easter egg in the future, maybe if the GTA 6 is Vice City, maybe we'll hear something on the Vice City news or something, saying, oh and uh, Jock Cranley has been arrested, considering that if we have now found out that he did actually commit the murder 50 years ago, or 45 hopefully, by the time GTA is out, GTA 6 even, but yeah, we don't know. We'll soon find out. Hopefully something happens. It's pretty cool. Alright guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in a bit.